Dr. Blankenhorn, you're one of the world's experts on atherosclerosis. I think we ought to start by telling people exactly what atherosclerosis is. John, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, what atherosclerosis is, is a buildup of cholesterol and scar tissue on the inside of arteries that interferes with the passage of blood. So we're talking about closing those arteries down. Right. All right, what's the consequence? The consequence is the common heart attack, the myocardial infarction, it's called, or stroke, or the like. Those are the major consequences. All right. And is this a very common thing to happen to people in this country? Yes, as you know, it's the common cause of death in this country today. All right. How about somebody like me, somebody who's young, trim? Could I have atherosclerosis? Yeah, the chances are you have less than uh, somebody who smokes or who has high blood pressure or high cholesterol, yeah. All right, so the chances are I might have it. Uh, say I didn't want to have any more of it. You got any words of wisdom on how I might stop Well, yeah, stop the it? words of, I'm sorry to cut you off here. The words of wisdom I had were, I have are that uh, uh, you should lower your cholesterol, you should get your blood pressure down, and you should never smoke. All right. Now, one of the key words that you mentioned is something that everybody's hearing a lot about, and that is to lower their cholesterol. And what we're talking about is blood cholesterol here. How do I get my cholesterol lower without uh, just wishing it so? Right. The, the things to do are to eat the right diet, eat low cholesterol, low fat foods, and those are principally the vegetables, and then avoid the uh, high cholesterol foods, and the high, one of the highest is the egg yolk. All right. Uh, what about if, what if I just want to have no cholesterol on my diet? What would I eat? Well, you can eat uh, a very reasonable diet with very small amounts of cholesterol, and the thing to do is to limit the amount of uh, meat you're eating and go for low-fat dairy products. Okay. Now, say uh, we were going to talk about ideals here, and I decided to watch my cholesterol level, and the object was to lower that cholesterol level. What's my goal? I think you should have a cholesterol of at least about 150. That's a good goal. 150, 150 milligrams per cent. All right. I eat no cholesterol in my diet. My cholesterol is 220. What do I do next? Well, in that situation, you need to consult with your doctor, and there are some people whose cholesterol levels are set high by their metabolism, and then they need medical care, and they need to take drugs. So cholesterol-lowering drugs. So the diet first, and then cholesterol-lowering drugs, and my goal is to get it down to 150. What's the prize if I do? The prize is you're going to have uh, no uh, increase in your atherosclerosis, and I think you find your disease is reversible. So, in other words, my arteries are going to get healthier and stronger? Right. Am I going to open up those holes so the blood can go through easier? I think so. All right. How about strokes and heart attacks? my wife going to have a husband a little longer? I think she will. I think you'll cut your risk. Uh, you can cut it way down. Okay. Let me see if I've got this right. We're going to watch our blood cholesterol. We're going to eat healthy foods. We're going to get some exercise. We're not going to smoke. I mean, that sounds like a message that nobody could argue with. John, I agree with you. Thank you very much for being here, Dr. Blankenhorn. I mean, to present such a positive message to our viewers has been a real pleasure for me.